Hi everyone, welcome to another video on Snowflake. Today let's learn about data sharing. Data sharing enables Snowflake's account to account sharing of data through Snowflake database tables, secure views and secure user defined functions. In this video, we are going to look at an introduction to data sharing, how it works. We'll see a demo, live demo of sharing the data between uh, two or more uh, accounts and we will also discuss about a few points that we need to keep in mind while sharing the data and uh, some architectural considerations. Let's get started. Whether you want to share the data you have in your Snowflake database with other employees of your organization or people of different organizations, data sharing is the way to do that. Depending on the sensitivity of the data, you can choose to use secure views and secure user defined functions or normal tables. Snowflake enables the sharing of databases through shares, which are created by data providers and imported by data consumers. So let's look at a graphical representation of the same thing. We have providers who create Snowflake data and they also create reader accounts which essentially are external accounts or internal other users accounts and then they create shares and then add consumers to those shares. Once this is done the services layer of Snowflake takes care of rest of the things. We have consumers who log in into their accounts using the reader accounts that were created earlier and then they create a database out of the share that was created for them and then they can use that database that was newly created as if it's their regular database. An important thing to note here is that the consumer is using a read-only database which is facilitated by the services layer of Snowflake. And uh, since this is only the metadata that is being consumed and not a physical database, consumer does not pay anything for the storage of this database. Consumers are charged only for the compute resources. In other words, virtual warehouses that they create to query the shared data. Take a look at the documentation page of uh, data sharing. This is a one-on-one -on -one sharing, but then a provider has also multiple databases that he's sharing with multiple consumers. And one consumer here is using the databases from multiple other providers. Here, a consumer is also having his own database. And in this case, a provider is also a consumer so he consumes two databases from uh, two different providers and then he has his own uh, database also which is consumed by others and he's a provider for that based on your project needs you can choose on the different approaches that you would like to take in order to share the data with others let's look at data sharing in action with a demo As we saw in our previous video, we had created secure view called uh, org patients that was having uh, the data of patients as well as two accounts. Uh, in this video, we are going to create two brand new two accounts and then we will set them up. Let's start by creating a reader account. In order to do that, first I need to be an account admin to create reader accounts. And then I go to account. I click on create reader account. I create an account called Ethan. And it creates it. 
so this is the account name that was assigned to Ethan now I will say done I will also create another user is Maria she has a different account name so now I go back to shares and then create a outbound share a new share brand new one uh, for these two users I will click on create share and I name this as uh, patient data and select the sales database in which I have org patients which is a secured view I say apply and then create share so this only created the share so you can take a quick look at the data since I don't have a consumer account to test it against I'll just preview it should not show me any data because it does not have a related account ID and the records of this view are filtered out by the account in other words it has row level security enabled so we need a, we definitely need a valid account to pull the records so that's why that's why we are not seeing here it's not a problem let's go ahead and add the consumer this is where you mention that your users are going to have access to this view secure view so our users ethan and maria are supposed to have access and uh, let's assign ethan and maria and add say done so now this patient data has is shared with these two users now let's log in as Ethan and Maria and check if they are having access to this database once I create this share and assign it to the consumers I need to log in as these users and then try to access the data by creating the database first and then accessing the data so for that first I need the URL to log sign in so I go to account and then here for Ethan I have a URL here I click on it I log in so once I log in I don't see any database here because nothing is created for me so first thing I will do is I'll change the warehouse size instead of extra large I will choose uh, extra small one and let it auto suspend after five seconds yeah that's good now I also need to change the role to account admin in order to create the data database okay so I have my patient data share here which is shared by my parent account now I have an option here create database from share so after selecting selecting this patient data I click on create data from share database from share and now I can give it a name so instead of uh, sales I would call it as patient data patient DB maybe all right and then I give it to two accounts sysadmin and account admin and I say create so this just created a copy of the database or in other words a shared database for me now I can go to worksheets all right <clears throat> so we are logged in as Ethan and account admin so let's run the query on org patients and see so I say select star from this table sorry view this is expected because my account ID is not in user access table um, of the parent account so let's go back and fix that I go back to data sharing 
yeah this is where we had it so i give access so this was ethan i gave him access on bayer hospital okay now as soon as i do this and go back to ethan and run this there we have it okay two records as expected and rest of the records are not here okay so let's do the same thing for the other patient and give him access to mayo clinic instead of baylor hospital so let's see if the data is created let's log in as maria click on this link so i'm logged in i'm a data consumer no, i'm not interested in all that so i will not have any objects i go back to shares before i go back to shares i need to switch my role to account admin only then i will get the option to create the database yeah go ahead and close it and as expected we have patient data here and i go to create database from share and i give the name of the database as patient data and choose my role as um, all of them and create the create the database say okay i switch back to worksheets i should be able to see the database now all right, so I run a select on this secure view. I shouldn't get anything here either as expected. And I go back to my parent account, which is Cutty Money. And then I enter Maria's account name which is zm64001 go back zm and then run again so it will add one more record so i should be able to get the two records yep so as expected i get mayo clinic related two records i don't see any other records here so that's the key here if you are using secure views and it is and it is written to have the row level security this is how you should be getting only the precisely the records that you are supposed to see so maria is supposed to see mayo clinic data and uh, ethan is supposed to see only baylor hospital data which is working as expected so that was the demo of reader accounts switching back to the presentation So the provider, provider Katimini had a view called org patients, which was a secure view. And then we went ahead and created two reader accounts, one for Ethan, another one for Maria. And then we created uh, the shares for them. And then on that patient data share, I added both of their IDs or accounts so that they can access the share. And then I logged in from each of their accounts and then created the database uh, from the inbound share. And then I queried the data to consume it. How is data sharing in Snowflake different from uh, on-prem data sharing? Well, there is a huge difference. When we are talking about giving direct access to production data, to consumers we are always nervous about the impact of that on the performance of our production server in case of snowflake that is not an issue at all because even though there is direct access to the data it is managed by snowflake and there is no performance effect on the production database 
they always have a separate copy of the database but they are referring to the same data and it also doesn't affect by the number of users or what kind of queries they are running because the compute load is again on the consumer side and not on our side. That's a wrap for data sharing on Snowflake. I hope the video was informative. Please like the video and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, please do comment. I would love to respond back to you. Thank you.